How would you like to live next to a building that is so dangerous police and fire refuse to go inside? Buildings that cannot be torn down. They are all over the historic Riverside community of Sadamsville, where most buildings are on the historic registry. That should be a good thing, but Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us why that's not always the case. Some of the buildings are beautiful, such as Our Lady of Perpetual Helped Church, with its Gothic revival roots, still in search of someone to give it new life. It's one of 39 buildings in Sedamsville with an historic preservation designation. Most are lifeless, boarded up, tumbling down, such as Benjamin Harrison School. About a month and a half ago, I caught some teenagers in there shooting the place up. So called the police, the police wouldn't go in because the orange signs on the door. The sign indicates it's too dangerous for police and firefighters to go inside. The outside is dangerous too. Pieces of bricks and sheet metal fall into Connie's yard next door. Not only is it a safety is issue with the glass and the bricks falling off, but now I found out on Friday that it's also a health issue because it has pigeon feces and bat feces inside. And we've got a sign here that says it's not safe for police and fire to enter. I'm not going to enter either. Historic designation protects buildings from being torn down, but it doesn't force private owners to fix it up. The school is part of the Shuttlesworth estate, but so far it's been up to the city to try and keep it safe. It just doesn't work. At what point do we say we can't spend any more money on this building? It would be a better choice to demolish it, remove the hazard, remove the uh, uh, eyesore, and hope that there are other ways that the community can move forward. Sedamsville so community leaders say the time is now. There's some properties here that are beyond repair. Is this and one of them? I think so. If you look around, you'll see there's not trash on this neighborhood. But this building, by even alone, makes it look as if the neighborhood isn't cared about, which is not true. The people of Sedamsville hoped to begin salvaging the community before the All-Star Game. You see, Boldface Park is going to be a hundred years old this year. It's where Pete Rose learned to play baseball. Instead, the community is going to work to lift historic designations it believes is keeping Sedamsville from moving into the future. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Some developers from Indianapolis did recently tour the old school. They had to wear protective suits. So far, though, no offer to redevelop it. If that changes, we'll let you know.